First, we'll take a look at the different tabs on the right for adding and editing your template. The Content tab contains a range of content types you can drag into your emails. The Rows tab contains content and placeholders set up in different layouts to add to your email. This is the quickest way to build your email. Lastly, the Settings tab contains general options for the fonts and colors of your email. In the center, you'll see the canvas where you'll click and edit your email. In the menu at the top, you'll see options to preview your email on desktop and mobile, save your email and exit the editor, or exit the editor without saving. If you've selected a link, image, or an article from the content library to share in your campaign, you'll see it here in a range of formats. You can also select from a number of placeholder rows where you'll need to replace the content with your own. Empty rows let you start from empty columns where you'll need to add elements from the content tab. You can also search the content library for additional articles to add. Now let's start building our email by adding the article we chose from the content library earlier. We'll choose the option that shows the full content of the article in the email. You can then click on objects directly to edit them. If you select a template that has placeholder content, you can remove the existing rows or duplicate them to take advantage of the placeholder content. Now, we'll add some additional content to this email from the content library. From here, you can access the same content library features as outside of the email editor. We'll use a different format for this article that contains just a summary of the article and a link to visit a web page. Now we'll preview the email for desktop and mobile to ensure it looks as expected. Then, we can save and close the editor to proceed with the remaining steps in the campaign. BOMA. It's digital marketing made easy.